Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov took centre stage at the Munich Security Conference to accuse NATO of a military build-up in Eastern Europe. Describing international relations as going through turmoil, he reached out to the European Union. We want to have a predictable and strong EU, which will be responsible on the foreign scene. But in remarks clearly aimed at the United States, he attacked Washington's policies on Syria and Iran. We cannot approach these issues from an even more dangerous standpoint, and I mean the Middle East conflict, and try to resolve it through heightening the tensions between Sunni and Shia. It's highly dangerous. But President Trump's national security adviser was quick to hit back at Russia's role in Syria. Public accounts and photos clearly show that Assad's chemical weapons use is continuing. It is time for all nations to hold the Syrian regime and its sponsors accountable for their actions and support the efforts of the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons. McMaster said Syria and North Korea were not the only rogue states. He said Iran was building its Hezbollah militia into a large proxy army. And what Iran is actually doing is applying the Hezbollah model to the greater Middle East in which they, they want weak governments in power. They want the Arab world to be perpetually weak. And, and they have weak governments in power uh, that are dependent on Iran for support. Kept at bay by thousands of police, demonstrators gathered in the falling snow around the conference center. They come every year to oppose NATO and call for disarmament. But this year, the demonstration has been different. It's been marked by a large contingent of Kurdish demonstrators protesting against the Turkish incursion against the Kurdish enclaves in northern Syria. The Turkish planes are making war in Afrin. There are lots of kids in Afrin. They are dying. It's forbidden. The British Prime Minister Theresa May began the day at the conference with a keynote speech calling for a special relationship with the European Union on security after Brexit. So as we leave the EU and forge a new path for ourselves in the world, the UK is just as committed to Europe's security in the future as we have been in the past. The sentiment and content of her speech was well received by delegates, but everyone is now waiting to see if an equally special relationship can be developed on economic ties post-Brexit, and just exactly what her vision really is. David Chater, Al Jazeera. Munich.